Another typical test that we'll do with concrete is cast uh, cylinders for compressive strength to make sure that the material supplier is giving you a mix that performs at the required specification pounds per square inch that uh, the, the job site calls for. So what we have here is a four by eight cylinder. It's a very simple uh, test to cast. We're gonna fill this in two equal lifts. We're gonna rot it 25 times. And we're gonna tap on the sides 10 to 15 times. We'll go into our second lift and do the same thing, except for we're going to penetrate one inch into the previous lift. Twenty-five rods penetrating one inch into the previous lift. Ten to fifteen taps again. We got 12 on that, and we're going to strike off the top. We're going to go ahead, mark the sides of this with the project name, number, identify these cylinders. We're going to cover them to prevent rapid loss of evaporate, rapid loss of moisture. And then we're going to take these to our initial curing location where they'll cure for, a, cure for a minimum of eight hours. And then we'll take them to the laboratory. All right, at this point, we've cast our cylinder out on the job site. We've allowed it to cure on site for eight hours. We brought it back to our laboratory and it cured in our moist room until the prescribed break time. Typically, our contractors are wanting a seven day break. And then specification typically requires three 28 day breaks on these uh, four by eight cylinders. We're going to go with an unbonded cap. Our cap set loose on it. We've got a neoprene uh, neoprene filler in there, and that's going to help us get uh, our break here. We're going to load the cylinder into the machine. And we're going to exert a certain stress at a certain rate until this concrete breaks. And that's going to tell us what the strength and PSI is for this material. You'll see that this stress right here is in pounds per foot and this one's in pound per square inch. This is the one that we're going to base our acceptance on, is this PSI. So far right now we're at 3,500, 3,400, 3,500 PSI. At this point we're at over 100,000 pounds of force and 8,100 PSI. I see our rate, per, our, our rate, which is our PSI per second down that bottom right side that's going down so it shows that we are in failure and it's not taking the same stress rate as it had previously so we're in a state of pre-failure basically right now <laughs> All right, and there we have our failure. <laughs> and that was an example of a compressive strength <laughs> test. <laughs>